The House Judiciary Committee now is in recess for unrelated votes on the floor. And of course, I say unrelated because it won't have anything to do, they won't have anything to do with holding Attorney General Barr in contempt of Congress. That's what they're looking to vote on today for refusing to hand over the full and unredacted Mueller report to them. Meanwhile, President Trump is exerting executive privilege over that full Mueller report in other investigative records that had been subpoenaed by the committee. It is the latest development in the Mueller saga. My next guest is writing about the ongoing obsession, it would seem, saying it is being perpetrated by the mainstream media and President Trump himself. Howie Kurtz is with me, Fox News media analyst and host of Media Buzz. Uh, you know, Mueller didn't like the way it was being portrayed in the media, so the media sit right front and center. Why, Howie? Uh, well, first of all, this hearing today, it was impossible not to cover, but it's one of the biggest partisan circuses I have ever seen. It was less and less about Bill Barr and redactions and more about impeachment and congressional politics and one Democrat standing up and saying Donald Trump should be in jail along with Michael Cohen. Uh, and so we know there's going to be a predictable party line vote in favor of contempt of the attorney general. Now, there is a serious issue here overhanging it all, Harris, and that is uh, the White House exerting executive privilege, as you mentioned, versus Congress's legitimate oversight role. It's kind of been lost in the shouting and the finger pointing. And by the way, with Democrats also demanding that Mueller testify, with Democrats also demanding the president's tax returns, it's all become sort of one giant mud ball that's going to keep rolling on. And I think a lot of people are going to tune out as just another Beltway melodrama. Yeah, so it's interesting that it's been weeks since we got that Mueller report, nearly 95% unredacted and yet this topic is still dominating the news and and I've had Congress people on this program both sides of the aisle it's going to end up in court it's going to end up according drag on for a very long time but it seems the media are in full Mueller mania mode why and I'm trying to think why that is right well part of it is because despite the fact that the report is everybody now knows and recommended no criminal charges against the president they almost, they are so invested in saturation coverage of this subject, it's almost like a business model uh, for their anti-Trump audiences because if they come off it, start talking about infrastructure, you know, the ratings go down and the clicks go down. But at the same time, President Trump is fueling this, keeping it in the news virtually every day, not just by calling the investigation a hoax, but by ripping Democrats, by denouncing fake news and all of that, because he's decided it's in his political interest uh, to keep this alive, something he can push back against. So you have both sides for very different reasons almost sort of unintentionally conspiring to keep this in the news, despite the fact that we've been through two years well, of and, investigation. And some of it is just news. When the White House, you know, exerts it is uh, news. executive privilege, that actually is news for all of this. Howie Kurtz, thank you very much. Great to see you.